Hey guys, Rob from Australian Camping Four Drives again. Hey, uh, we're here today with Ian and Mark. Good Mark, up. you're from Travel Bug Two Drop Campers. Yep. So you actually manufacture the camper we're about to have a look at, guys. Yes, we do. And uh, so we're going to get Mark to actually walk around and show us. We're just over here at Bluff Creek today. Beautiful day. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's been lovely. awesome. Yeah. Awesome and uh, just been camping for the weekend. And uh, Mark came down, he's got a camper trailer with him as well, haven't you? Yep, new Adventureman. Yep. Adventureman Trekker. Okay, so you, how many campers have you got in your, in your series? Uh, we have about eight to ten. Okay. And variants thereof. Okay. Yes. Right. And so the one we're going to look at here today... This one here is an Adventureman. Right. Um, with a Tuffy Pack. A Tuffy Pack gives it an upgraded suspension, um, some checker plate, um, a longer, stronger drawbar suitable for four-wheel drive, drop down legs, mag wheels, upgrading to 15 inch wheels. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, so it was a good little package. Now, something that, well, we're gonna show this camper, but I just thought I'd mention a couple of things that I've noticed already. This, I, I like my sister, I really likes this thing, and she likes it because it's easy to set up for the, for the ladies. Yes. And I think that's probably actually an important thing, because some market. of them aren't that, that simple to set up, mm. and like if you've got back issues and all that type of stuff, like my sister does, yep. it might be a good you know, good thing for somebody who's who needs yeah. something like that. Yep. Um, so just keep that in mind hey, as we're yeah. looking at it. So a huge market is single ladies, Yeah. because uh, they, they're safe at night. Fully locked up, safe, beautiful, uh, beautiful mattress to sleep on, television, all the media they want can be inside and um, they can handle this themselves. They can um, push it in the shed themselves, tow it with a medium car and uh, yeah, that's why a single, the single lady market is huge for yeah. us. And, and, and you're just using a little Forester, aren't you? Yeah, the uh, latest little, Forester. Little Forester over there, guys. It's not, not a huge car or anything like that, but it tows as well, doesn't it? Yeah, brilliant. The best. The best of best trailer I've ever towed. Okay, cool. That's not sucking up to the boss of the manufacturer of the trailer. <laughs> All right then. Well, how about uh, where, where you want to start on this one, mate? Okay. Well, we'll head around. as you can tell, Ian has fitted a Batwing style awning from Super Peg. Um, this is a kind of awning that works really well with this style of teardrop. As you can see by this teardrop, it has an opening rear door. Um, which allows an overhead cupboard access, beautiful bench top. Um, Ian has the fridge slid out here now at the moment, it just slides back for convenience to pack away. And he's got a cutlery and a pot drawer there, um, lighting and towels and really handy this little area for, for prepping. Um, but not only in a teardrop, we don't cook in this area because we don't have to splatter everywhere. We'll set up a little table like what Ian's done here. and. Um, Ian has onboard water with a jerry can, which is something we can do. This one has drop down stabilisation legs, which um, really helps to stabilise the whole package um, if you're in a slide off road situation. Cool. Yeah. So, what, um, so you mentioned, I heard you mention water. So, water um, is in tanks, it's not in like um, built into it? No, we offer um, a 40 litre water tank okay. with a lockable cap and a gravity fed tap, yep. which works really well. Um, really thick good quality tanks. Yep. We don't do thin blow molded tanks. We do the best plastic vacuum tanks we can possibly buy. Okay. Uh, they're all locally made too. Yep. So we, we try and use as much local content in these as we can. I heard you mentioning the other day about Australian made and trying yeah. to get Australian products and all that type of um, stuff into it. There is some things we have to buy imported. You can't hide from that. I understand that. Um, but mo like mud guards, windows, even things like that, they're all locally made in Brisbane or local factories and that helps you know, keep those families paying their mortgages rather than importation yeah. of those products. So if we walk around, we'll have a look here. Um, the Batwing style awning, well that's just a no-brainer. We have two metres out, two metres this way, two metres around the back. It instantly turns this little trailer into a fabulous little campsite. And the beauty of what we do at Travel Bug is absolute simplicity. Everything we do is the simplest thing possible. And most of the things we factor into our vans are operational with one hand. Because okay. usually you'll have something else in your other arm. And uh, so it's really good like that. But if we have a look inside, now they've got big side windows. Travel Bug's all about ventilation. Yep. Uh, we have big 800 by 500 windows. We have roof vents. We have fans. Um, uh, we can have televisions in there if you wish. They all come standard with um, what's called a Sirocco fan, so a little directional yep. silent fan. They're great fans, those ones. Yep, we have windows in the doors, um, nice nice looking doors. We have to grab these doors from the United States, but they work well. And uh, yeah, if you just want to pan yeah. through there. and um, Most of our vans are a queen size mattress. They're a queen length, just a few millimetres short of queen width. Uh, they all come with block out curtains, magazine that lights racks. up there too, guys. They all come with lighting. Um, the teardrops are predominantly 12 volt powered, 
so uh, a nice strong battery and, so um, right so so um so what what amperage battery do they come with generally we put a 120 in there with a 12 amp uh, usually a kick ass system yep um, they are options some customers have their own theories of what they require yeah but the kick ass system is um is predominantly what we offer right right because um, once again local company yeah we yeah. like to support as local as we can so um i noticed this, they had cupboards up the end up there as well you got two cupboards in there with with shelving they're only about 200 mil deep because we're factoring in the balance between the giving a cupboard and front and rear and giving windows that are a generous size um our, our teardrops are traditionally manufactured uh they are 11 ply marine ply right covered with a, what we call the best fiberglass sheeting in the world we get in from the united states um and the roof cavity the front and the back that's all this thick oh okay and that's all insulation in the in the roof and it's all spars see i did a lot of study in the united states before we even built our first van yeah. and studied that the companies that do the best in in the manufacture of teardrop still built their teardrops in traditional fashion as opposed to composite body shells or fiberglass body shells the companies that last the longest and do the best are the ones that still do the traditional spar right. and plywood sides so um, and we just add a little carpet lining in there just removes that condensation element of having a, a hard cover on the internal roof um, we manufacture all our own frames okay. do our own sign writing we make our own mattresses um, normal household inner spring mattress like Ian can credit how beautiful they are to sleep on and you're camping like it's a no-brainer yeah. to have a mattress just like you're just falling into God's hands you know yeah. they're that nice how um, they go, how's it go in uh a new record set probably <laughs> five seconds and I was asleep last night <laughs> and then woke up and went bugger it's 6 30 I've slept in <laughs> and so, Rob's still snoring <laughs> <laughs> so if we pan around the other side yeah we'll go around with you <laughs> As you see on this one, we've mounted, normally we mount the spare wheel on the front, but for Ian's circumstance we've allowed a push bike rack on the front and we've put the, um, the spare wheel here on the side. This teardrop is probably a little bit more beefier than most. He weighs in at about 800 kilos, he has electric brakes with the new e-brake electric system. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a really good system. That's a Wi-Fi electric brake contro oh, controlling okay. system. So the only thing in your car is just a remote control. Normally you wire in a system that controls and there's a knob through your dash or a sliding mechanism off the box itself. But in this circumstance the only thing in your car is a little remote control. So therefore you can loan your camper trailer or use it for different motor vehicles. You just move the remote control that's to the other right, vehicle. Right. So good. it's really cool. So as you see also on this one Ian has chosen to put the um, rollout room on this side so he can fit a rollout awning, sorry, so he can fit a room under here. Yep. So if you're free camping, yeah. you can have a private place. Yeah. You know, the rooms available for these are a, um, a bug proof, snake proof cube. Yep. You know, it goes around them. Goes, you know, and it's just fantastic like that. So you, you can put your portable, you can hop out of the teardrop into the room at night. That's great. You know, so pretty cool like that. So we travel around to the front. This one's got electric brakes, Land Cruiser hubs, we use big 45 by 45 square axles. Um, it's a leaf spring design. We find that to be the most reliable system for, for what it is. These are a semi off-road. These are good for, if you drew an imaginary line from Cairns to Adelaide, yep. and we're, we're camping on the eastern side of that line, great. Probably not the ideal product if we're north of Cairns or, or west yeah, of that. So when you have real rough stuff, not really for that. It's no. really just for something like dirt roads and that type of stuff, really. Yes, oh, it handles that fantastic. Yeah. I mean, look where we are now, hinterland, beautiful. Yeah, it's nice here, yeah. isn't it? Well, as you see on this one, they all come with a flip-up jockey wheel. Um, there's a DA35 coupling on this one. When you get electric brakes, obviously you get a handbrake. And storage, nice storage box on the front. Um, Ian has altered this system sim similar to what we offer out of the factory. He's added a few more mod cons there, yeah. but the concept's the same. 120 AGM, 240 volt if you've got that on site, and good storage for, for other products. So so, um, so what you can do, so you're saying if you arrive at a caravan park, you can plug into 240? Yes. Okay. And it doesn't run, it doesn't convert to 240, it hasn't got an inverter or anything No, no, like that. it just runs on the 240. Cool. 
And uh, so primarily it runs on the 12 volt. If yes. you're off grid and if you're out of campsite, you can use it on the Exactly right. That's great. Simple as possible. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. That's good. Now Ian's decided to put some little walls up here as well. It looks good, eh? On the outside. Yes. Um, yeah. Aldi special. Aldi special walls, are they? Yeah, caravan walls. And, uh, so they just put some, some little walls straight down the side there just to provide windbreak. Yep. And yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Well. Yeah. They work brilliantly. They work really brilliantly. Yeah. So all in all, a simple package. As you see, Ian's got a medium little car. He's here having a ball. He only spent like $15,500 plus a few bits and bobs that he's put on extra. Kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? You know, for that style of camper trailer. Yeah. You know? And he's got a bike rack on the front too, there too, eh? Can, yeah, that's great, isn't it? So let's have a look at your one as well, eh? Because I can see it just over there in the distance. So what have you done? What's the difference on that one? Well, this is a more of an off-roady one. Yeah. Um, this is our Adventureman series. Um, we run two series of camper trails at Travel Bug. We run the Travel Bug line, which is uh, more of a touring round shaped, traditional shaped teardrop. Yep, yeah. And then we run the Adventureman series, which is more of the blokey, okay. feel off road style. Yep. This is our new Adventureman Trekker. So, with this one, you can see that he has a lift up rear door, the uh, Raven awning around the other side. He has a similar toolbox uh, to what Ian had on his. Um, just made to be a bit more beefier, go those real hard to get to places like um, properties. More and more farm stays these days, allowing you to stay down the back paddock or down near their river. Perfectly designed for that Fraser um, and beach camping up Tiwa or anywhere we can camp on beaches in South Australia and whatever. Made for that. It's um comes in. This one comes in at about 660 kilos. Uh, you don't even need a brake controller. No, this one he doesn't have brakes. 660 no. kilos on an 80 kilo ball, uh, 70 kilo ball weight on this one. Um, these were specifically designed for Jeeps. Jeeps have a low towing capacity and a low ball weight. So I thought, well, we'll design them so that the Jeeps can tow them and then everyone, every, we're knowing everything else can. Yeah. You know, but the comfort level's the same. The concepts are all the same. It's all high. This is just a little bit higher because he's on a bigger 15 inch wheel um, with a higher profile tire. Um, but yeah, just a great little concept. It's obviously it's a twist on old school teardrops. Yeah, yeah. We've modernised it and toughened it up, but the big, the basic concept is still the same on that one. Okay. So how about you tell people where, how they can contact you, where you're located? We are now. We've been building teardrops for 12 years now. We are located at Link Crescent in Coolum Beach. Um, lovely brand new facility there. We have there. Um, and yeah, we'd love to see you come in. Um, we do your quotations and stuff, you leave, we leave with some paperwork, so you get to have a bit of a study when you go home and see what you think. That'd be awesome. And we have, we have vans in the store for people to look at. Oh, sweet. Awesome, mate. All right, I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have, I'll show you some footage from around the, the trailer and all that, and I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at it. And uh, if you want to contact him, give him a yell, and uh, I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. Website, Facebook pages, YouTube channel. There you go, guys. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll talk to you later on.